Hello friends, I'm just here to make an announcement that we're going to start doing a raw milk series of videos where I'm going to take a pan over to an Amish family's home and they are going to milk the cow directly into my, the pan. I will bring the pan on over to my house, unstrained, unjarred up and do the process from scratch here so that I can get cream to float to the surface of the milk best so that I can collect the cream for butter. And today I'm getting my pan ready to take over there. I've scrubbed it up real well with some soap and with our detergent and hot water as far as my sink is concerned. But I'm boiling water on my stove to pour around the edges so that I can make sure that it's nice and sterile. So what I'm gonna do is pour this around the edges of the pan. And then save some for the lid, because I'll take that so we can protect the milk as best we can. Old guys going with me. We've had a lot of pretty yucky weather lately. There's a mushy ice on top of the pond. Good morning. It's still dark outside, and I'm going to buy milk. I see a hint of daylight off into the distance. It's really the pretty part of the morning. Maybe I would even say the pretty part of the day. Here you get to see how horrible our road is. We need the county to come out here and fix our road. How about that for a plug? I'm sure some county person is going to be watching my video. Anyway, uh, we used to buy eggs for the, from this family and sell them at the market up in Kansas City. And so that's where I chose to get some milk to uh, do my project that I've got going on. And I'm kind of taking you along with me. See how pretty that sky's getting. It's red out there. I think it's going to be a pretty sunrise. arrived at my destination. I am about three minutes earlier than I said I'd be, so I don't know if they're still out here milking or if I'm gonna have to wait till they come back in. The dad and the son are probably doing the milking. Carefully drive around this way and then wait to see. Some light on in the house. I expect mom's probably in there fixing breakfast, so I'll probably go to the door. But I'm sorry, I can't take you with me. Supposedly I've got two gallons in there. Looks like there's quite a bit of floaty stuff, but I'll filter that off. Now we gotta get home and get it going while it's still pretty warm. Well, I'm back home and I've got my setup going here that where I'm gonna pour the milk. I need a cloth that's a kind of loosely woven but not too wholly kind of loosely and that's what I'm going to be straining the milk through because when you get milk directly out of a cow you can wash her the best you can but you can't get every little speck of something that might fall off and so there's always a little bit of debris in the milk. I like to wet my cloth because it makes the milk go through faster and I'll drape my cloth right over the top of the jar and make a little indentation where the milk can be poured. Then I'll aim well. On the aiming part, the more you do it, the easier it gets. When you first learn how to do this, it kind of is tricky because you never know where the milk's going to go until you do it a few times and learn the technique. Now fill that up with to the top. I've got a second jar. I think I'll have about two gallons of milk. Whoa, about a little bit over. <laughs> Now I'll just put lids on my jars, wipe them down because I 
was a little bit sloppy so I don't get milk on the shelf of my refrigerator. Now put these in the refrigerator, get them cooled down. Best to get them cooled down as quickly as you can. And then we'll skim some cream off the top of that. Well, I just happened to think this might be a good thing to show you is that whenever you rinse your, your pan or your bucket out, do it first with cold water. It might make sense to you to do it with hot water but the hot water actually kind of congeals the milk, kind of cooks it a little bit onto the surface of whatever you're trying to wash. The cold water rinses it off well and then you take your uh, hot water and your detergent, whatever soap you're going to use, I'm just going to use a Dawn, I think this is what this is, and uh, wash it really well, rinse it really well, and that should keep your milk bacteria from going crazy in your kitchen. I put the milk in the refrigerator yesterday morning and it sat there all night and part of today and the cream has risen to the top. You can definitely see a line across there where the cream is. This is skimmed milk down here and this is cream. The heaviest cream will be up at the top well, the stuff in the middle where the near the line will be a little lighter cream. Now we're ready to take the cream off. To do that, we just use a ladle. You can use a big ladle if it'll fit into your jar, or you can use a small ladle, and you can use a combination of the two. I have a butter churn that uh, we bought after our house burn, uh, and I got it from Layman's. It's like an old daisy churn but it's modern and new not an old antique it has a really nice size uh, jar that's what i'm going to put the cream in from both of these dip down and you can see the heavy cream oh this is something i forgot to do usually i will uh, wet my ladle first before i put it in there and then that will let the cream slide back out of it instead of sticking to the ladle. So I'll just dip out as much cream as I can get. I'll get down to the point where I see that the milk, I'm not there yet, but I can see the milk has a little bit of a blue cast when you get down through the cream and into the skimmed milk part. Now you can't expect to get every little bit of cream and you can't expect to not get some of the milk included in it because it's it's not really an exact science, but what I'm going to do is just try to get most of the cream. And from drinking, I certainly don't mind if there is some cream left in there. So I think I'm going to stop there and get the other one done. I got a very nice amount of cream out of these two jars, uh, more than a quart. I would say probably a quart and a half at least. So I'm going to put my turner in here, my churn part actually, and I'm going to let this cream sit out. I'm going to do it old school. I'm not going to use any kind of a, a starter or a culture, but I'm going to let this sit out in my kitchen at room temperature for two or three days, probably three days. And then I'm going to make some butter. And so that'll be the next video that I do with you uh, is making butter. But we're not done yet because one of these gallons of milk is going to be put into this pan. If I can do this here with, there we go. And I'm going to let this also sit out for two or three days to curdle naturally. And what I'll be doing with that is making cottage cheese. And that will also be a future video. I'm not going to use any starter. I'm going to let it sour on its own. And actually it gives it a little bit more sour flavor. But that's the way I'm going to do it. I'll probably try it with a culture 
also one of these days. This jar here, I'm going to leave it in my refrigerator and I'm going to drink it. Old guy and I are going to drink it, so... But we're not finished. I wanted to remind you that whenever you rinse your milk jugs out, your jars, rinse with cold water first. See how it rinses it off? And then wash with hot soapy water. That's all the video for today. And I appreciate you coming. And I'll see you next time.